Hey everybody, it's Justice for Comics. It is Wednesday, new comic book day. Going to be reviewing comic books that are coming out next Wednesday, December 16th. Give you an idea of uh, what to look for at your LCS. Uh, I'm using Midtown to go through this. Um, so if you like to order online, you may want to use Midtown or any other online ordering comic book shop. But a lot of times if something sells out in Midtown, that's your clue to go to your LCS and see if you can grab it off the shelf. So let's jump into it here. Book's coming out December 16th. And let's take a look here. First, we got Dark Horse. Uh, didn't see anything. I mean, I, I love Black Hammer, the world of Black Hammer. Uh, so this is one of the characters. Barbalian, uh, Bar Barbalian Red Planet, number two. I've not been picking this up. Uh, I picked up a couple cos a couple copies of the Captain Colonel Weird, I think it is, the Cosmogog. Um that was okay. I I've read the first couple issues. Um yeah, I don't I just I like Black Hammer. It's not the same writer. It's not Jeff Lemire writing it. So I don't know. If, if I hear think great things about this, I might go back and, and pick it up. But uh, for right now, I've I decided to hold off on it. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077 Trauma Team 4 is out. Um, this is based on a video game. The video game, I think, just premiered this month. I've been seeing advertisements for it on TV. Uh, issue number one, I think, sold out. It did pretty well. Uh, I did pick up the first two issues. I don't think I'm going to continue with it. I thought it was okay. Uh, I think the story was decent, and it is based on a video game, so yeah, it, it could continue to do well. Cullen Bunn's a good writer, so that may be one you may want to keep uh, uh, your eye on. Next is DC. Uh, I kind of like this Aquaman cover. It's pretty cool. I'm not familiar with the artist, Dima Ivanov. But it is the Endless Winter Part 4. It's a minimal trade dress. Nice cover. Uh, Batman number 50. Second printing. I don't... I've seen the cover on this. I'm not a big fan of Riley uh, Rosmo. Just not a big fan of the art. It, it's definitely an interesting style. It's just not... It's not my... Not my style. So I'm going to pass on that. I did grab a regular... A cover of Batman 50, the mid the Middleton cover. Midtown does have some for sale for $13.50. Um, it's about what you would pay, maybe a little bit more if you bought it off eBay. I looked on eBay with shipping and everything. It's about $14, $15, so it's about the same. Uh, so I decided to grab one. It is the first appearance of a new character, uh, Emily Riley, I believe. She is, um, I guess she's going to be the new Batwoman, so... It's a good first appearance to have, and I missed it initially, so I grabbed one off Midtown for $13.50. There's also a B cover on there for $8. I think the Middleton is the one to get, though, the A cover. So if you didn't pick it up like I did, you may want to take a look on Midtown and grab one before they sell out. Uh, Batman number 105. Batman's been a great pickup. I really love this Matina cover. I love the coloring on that. Purple's freaking awesome. I pre-ordered that in advance. So usually all the Batman B covers with Matina, uh, I pre-order. So there's also an incentive cover by Jimenez with Batman on the cover. Yeah, I just went with the B cover on that one. Uh, Batman's Grave, I've collected some of it. It's been pretty good overall. Just not bought it consistently enough. Um, yeah, so that one, that one might be worth grabbing. Catwoman number 28, B cover by Frizen. Definitely am into that. I love, I pre-ordered that cover. Love Frizen's artwork. Uh, Dark Knight's Metal 6. I think I grabbed just the Art Germ cover. Mr. Miracle, I like that cover. I may have also pre-ordered this Perillo B-Rex Batman T-Rex, I guess. Notice no discounts on these, um, except for the A cover. So I'm sure they'll do well. There's also an incentive cover by Doug Mankey. That one's got uh, Robin King on the cover. 
And there's also, looks like a one in, I don't know if that's a one in 50 or one in 100, black and white by Capullo. Uh, moving on through DC, um, what else? That I looked to see that was interesting. I don't know why anybody would want Strange Avengers signed by Tom King. I think Tom King's career is about over. Superman's been uneventful. Um, not really collecting that anymore. I don't know anyone that is. Unless you're just a hardcore Superman fan and have to buy it and you know, you're a completionist. That's it for DC. Uh Dynamite Entertainment, yeah, I mean there's some nice covers here and there, but Perillo and all that, but yeah, I just I've not been picking that up. Those are and I know there's a Dr. Seuss homage there. Yeah, just I've I've decided to pass and all that stuff. I mean, there's some nice covers. That black and white by Perillo is really nice. Grayscale. Sold out on Midtown, so that might be hot. Killing Red Sonia. I mean, these Christian Award covers are pretty sweet. All different versions of them. Uh, IDW. Don't think there was a whole lot. Yeah, not much. I'm not picking anything up from IDW Image. I don't think there was much from Image either. I know there's... Eh, I don't know this Commander's in Crisis. I have no idea what that is. Decorum. I think I only picked up the first issue. I didn't care for it. Um, yeah, I've not been picking up much Image. I Basically, I pre-order Spawn and Ice Cream Man, and that's about it. <laughs> I just... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what this Solid Blood is, number 17. Uh, no picture there. Who knows what that is. Yeah, I'm just not really interested in a lot of image books lately. Moving on to Marvel, Black Cat, Volume 2, number 1. People tend to buy this for the covers. I don't think people are really into... I mean, Black Cat, in my opinion, can't really hold her own title. So this will go for so long that weak sales will eventually get it canceled. I don't know why Marvel keeps doing it, but I mean, Captain America doesn't sell. So how are they going to get Black Cat to sell? I do love that cover uh, by Ross. I believe I pre-ordered it. I just love Alex Ross artwork and man, that cover is awesome. Red and black. I mean, I probably won't even read it. It's not been worth reading, but that's a total cover buy. Mortal Hulk has been solid. I just usually go with the A covers by Ross. I don't mess with any of the other covers. Iron Man, I've not been reading. I don't know if it's any good. I mean, there's a couple. That B cover by Raposa is pretty nice. Just not really interested in it right now. There is a Peach Momoko Stormbreakers variant. No picture of it. Wanting $45 for it. Uh, it's not sold out yet. King in Black Immortal Hulk one shot. Um, you know, if you've got to own, if you want to buy all the sub stories, of King and Black, I guess is, you know, pick up the A cover, I guess, but I'm not really doing that. I'm going to stay away from all that stuff. Um, yeah, there's not much I'm buying from Marvel next week, really. Symbiote, Spider-Man, King and Black. Uh, I mean, I just not interested in that. Taskmaster, I'm, I don't know. I may have pre-ordered that. I, li I do like this LaRocca cover. If I was going to choose between the two, I think the B cover is slightly better than the A cover. Wolverine, black and uh, black, white and blood, number two. I believe I pre-ordered just, I've just been getting the A covers by LaRocca. There's also an incentive cover. That does it for Marvel. Um, Independence, I don't really, yeah, there wasn't really much I saw. They're revamp, you know. Blade Runner 2029, Momoko A cover. I yeah, I mean, I like some Momoko stuff. It's okay. Yeah, I'm not really excited about next week's books for the most part. Um, this is a nice Franny cover for Firefly. I mean, I do love the artwork on that. It's a beautiful cover, especially the incentive, right? Yeah, sold out. Incentive is sold out. It's a beautiful cover by Franny. But I don't read Firefly. I'm really not interested in it. <laughs> so I'm trying to stay away from just buying stuff solely for the cover. I mean, I'm trying to. <laughs> it's not always easy. Uh, 
Yeah, what else? I did. I think that Mega Man B cover by Garner was pretty nice. That's a pretty cool cover. I like that. Not. I don't collect Mega Man, but uh, you know. Now this one I am going to give a try. Night Hunters number one. Sounds like an interesting story. I don't. I'm not familiar with the publisher Floating World Comics. Print runs probably super super low. Um, only one per person at Midtown. I'm going to give it a try, just the first issue. I don't know if it'll be good or not. Who knows? Uh, but it sounded like an interesting story. Uh, the story was... Uh, the tale of two brothers who have to navigate the futuristic cyberpunk world of Venezuela a hundred years in the future. <laughs> so if you want to live in Grand Caracas, you have two options. Become a cop or die. So that could be... I find it slightly interesting. I don't know. It, um, I think that was the only indie I was going to grab. Was that Night Hunters number one? I I've never heard of the publisher. I'm sure the print one's going to be minuscule. Um, but it's just one of those things that I'll, I'll give it a try. Just the first issue. See if it's any good. I don't know if it catches. You know if it catches my reader attention and maybe I'll get the second issue. Once in Future 14, I usually pre-order all the A covers. I do like this incentive black and white cover though by Dan Mora, it's pretty cool. It's only $9. There is a really beautiful um, C cover by Rod Rice. I love the coloring on that, it's awesome. Obviously it's like a one in 25 probably, right? 22.50, I'm assuming it's a one in 25. Uh, I do love the color on that. That's beautiful. Um, yeah, I just don't really, I don't really want to spend that much money though. Uh, anything else, guys? Da, 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 da. Yeah. This is an interesting cover for Power Rangers. Don't really buy Power Rangers, but I know there there are a lot of fans of Power Rangers out there. Uh, Riptide Draken number four. I've been picking up this. It's a low print run title by Red Five. Covers are decent. It's a decent story. I'm going to grab that. I think there's only, I, th I think that might be the last issue. It's either a four or five.